This interactive fraction more can be found at www.visnos.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use the fraction more and generally what the controls do. So to start off with, um, in all the activities at Visnos, when you move over a control, you'll see in this top bar a description of what happens. So you can see that select unit, that's turn on all the bricks, that's turn off all the bricks, which I'm going to click. You can also find information over here. If I click this button here, you get a dialogue which talks you through the wall and also points out particular controls and what they do. You can get those by clicking on these blue bits of text here. Okay, so what a fraction wall is, is each row on the wall represents one hole. So I've got this mixed wall up at the, at the start here. So if I click the top one, that's one hole. Below that, it's divided into two, so that must be halves. Below that, it's divided into four, uh, four pieces, so that must be quarters. Below that, eight pieces, so eighths. Now the mixed wall shows different families. So after the halves, quarters, eighths, we move on to this family here, which is thirds. Then you have uh, six pieces, so one sixth for each one, and one twelfth, then one fifth, and finally one tenth. Now it can be a bit daunting to mix a wall at first, uh, so there's actually other walls. There's the large one, which is even more complex, which is dividing by one more each time. And then there's simpler ones. This one's just for the twos. This one's for the threes. You can turn them all on C. And this is for the fives. The fives also includes one hundredths at the bottom here. And the reason for that is that it's actually very useful for uh, percentages. So let's look at some of these other controls. You've already seen these two. On turns a whole wall on, off turns a whole wall off, which is opposed to just clicking individual parts. R is for a randomized wall where roughly half are on and half are off. So if I click that, you get a randomized wall. Click it again, you get a different randomized wall. So this can be useful to get the children to recognize what fractions in each particular part. Um, the next button here, um, when I click it, aligns those which are on to the left. So if I do this and click, those greens will move to the left. Then we have this I'm going to talk about in a moment. And finally, let's look at this um, column here. So in the column here, we're seeing the totals for what's actually in the wall. So this is two-fifths. This is four tenths, and it's not actually cancelling down the four tenths because this is really where you're showing equality in the wall. So if I make all of these equal, just turn them off. A little bit difficult with the hundredths. Which is why there's another control I'll explain in a moment. So this is really where fraction walls are really useful um, for showing equality of fractions. So what this is actually saying is 40 over 100 is equal to 8 over 20, which is equal to 6 over 15, which is equal to 4 tenths, which is equal to 2 fifths. Now normally you wouldn't want to show every one of these at the same time, so you can hide them individually by clicking on or off, or if you want to hide the whole column, click here, or show the whole column, click here. So more than likely you'll do something like this, hide, Click for a random wall. What fractions in each? This one's one fifth. That one's five tenths. You know, something along those lines. You can also compare the fraction sizes by using the align. So when they're aligned, you can see that of these, one is obviously the biggest. Then 12 twentieths is bigger than 55 over 100, which is bigger than five tenths. So you can do these kinds of comparisons. So, so far we've just been looking at fractions. So now I'm going to change the wall to show percentages. So the first one which was showing one whole is obviously 100%. This was one fifth, which is 20%. Five tenths, 50%. And you can see this one now, there's a rounding um, happening here. I believe it's two decimal places. Then we've got the 60% um, here. And this one's probably the most interesting when we're talking about percentages because each one of these 
represents 1%. And it's very hard to see, but that's each one of those is actually 100. So the final control I'm going to look at is this toggle button here. Toggle buttons are common across the Viznos interface. You'll see when they're off, they have an X. When they're on, they have a tick. So I'm going to change the mode to over here, the wall to mixed. I'm going to hide the controls because this would be a possible way you could use it. So turning on equivalents. Now when you click a part of the wall, it'll show all possible equivalent fractions based on that particular wall. So I'm going to click one quarter and you'll see the two eighths or three twelfths which you can show to the class over here. Hide those again, or one half. I could click by clicking an extra quarter, or you could just click by clicking one half itself. So you've got four eighths there. Is there anything equal to five eighths? In this case, no. Six eighths? Yep, three quarters. So that's the equivalence mode. In some ways, it's really just a time saver because you could click the individual um, blocks on yourself but it's actually uh, quite a good way to do it. And particularly when you have the fives, if you're dealing with percentages, because these are a bit awkward to turn on. So, let's see, right there we have 9 fifteenths, which is equal to 60%, you could work out. Okay, so that's the equivalent. I think I've covered everything. Just a reminder, you can find these activities at www.viznos.com and you can also find Viznos in the Chrome Web Store and this is uh, then can be installed into your browser providing you using Google Chrome. Once installed, you have this nice easy way to launch and you'll find it's also a much faster, more responsive interface. In fact, one thing I should have mentioned, um, another part where you can do fractions is in the clock. So that's another link you can see down here. Okay, but that's enough for now. Thanks for watching.